So anyway, we're going to start right off talking about the Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, Year here of the go. Dragon. Here you go, the yes. dragons here. Why is the dragon important? Because you see the dragon for every New Year's, you see it for every celebration, you know, they get under it and they yeah. run with the dragon. I love right, that. <laughs> right. So dragon, first of all, uh, for the Asians, for Chinese, uh, we're, we're considered we're the descendants of dragons. You know, in the past, the emperors always, they were, you know, they're the son of the dragon. So yeah. basically that, uh, even though it's not a, the it's real tradition. animal, it's tradition, tradition. It's kind of mysterious and then kind of royal. So that is definitely, uh, to us, is very special. Okay, you can say that animal, but it's a, above animal. And then the 12 zodiac, uh, the Lunar New Year animals and dragon, obviously, with this mysterious side of it. And when it's Dragon Year, everybody pay, pays more attention because it's Dragon Year and it's my year. We just year. had a rabbit first. Yeah. Yes. Rabbit was last time. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, so it's special. And especially this year, the Lunar New Year has became the New York State public school holiday. Isn't that amazing? But it falls on a Saturday. So what do they do? What are the, how are they? Because I was trying to figure that one out. Right. So this year, it's not going to affect the school calendar. It won't change anything. But the Lunar New Year's Lunar calendar, it, the, the date change every year. So right. next year, it'll be, just if like I remember Christ, right. Just like uh, uh, Easter and, you know. Exactly. Uh, Rosh Hashanah and right, all Right, right, right. So next year, I believe it was on the Friday. It will be on the Friday. So, so then they get the day off. Yeah, the, the, the day, the, the, the student's going to be off. So I'm really excited to to that, to, to have I'm that. I'm so happy that they recognize that because we have so many Chinese, Chinese Americans in the, in the or American Chinese, however you want to say it, in this uh, state, and we really need to acknowledge that. It, that's what they say is long due when they pass the, you know, when they pass the bill to law. Really, it's not only Chinese though, it's Vietnamese, it's Myanmar, and it's like Indonesia. There are quite a few countries. Oh, they all do. They, oh, they all celebrate I did not know that. the same date. Korean, for example. So it's not only for Chinese Chinese Americans, but for those Asian countries who celebrate. So this year we're actually going to celebrate together. Would that be like Vietnam? Thing. Vietnam? No? Uh, yes. Vietnam yeah. as well. Same, same well, thing. then that's a big population. It is a big thing. And I was lucky enough being invited as a speaker to the rally who pushed this bill uh, into law in the uh, Capitol, Capitol Hill in Albany. And during my speech, I did say, if Lunar New Year became uh, become the public school holiday, I will make day a party. And it's going to be, now it's going to be. So we have a lot of things going on. Uh, we call it Lunar New Year month, because it's not only a no. day, you well, know. Well, in China, it's like seven, eight days. It's I mean, and they say you weeks. can't possibly find transportation. I know my friend Jin Fei Bao says it's, it's an incredible migration it is. throughout China. It's it's, the, it's it's a holiday, you definitely want to go home. Thanksgiving, Christmas, you want to go home, be with your family, and then just do nothing, and then just really give the celebration a go for the whole period, two weeks of time. And then for us, we partner with uh, local libraries, uh, we call it oh, introduction. Oh, you're doing four of them, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, introduction to Lunar New Year, and then we Colony Library with, with Gilderland Library and Clifton Park Library. So your viewers. I think that's wonderful to uh, do that, to raise the awareness. Exactly, with hands-on activities and performances. Yeah. And then now, what also... what would be traditional foods that... I've got a bug here. Uh, traditional foods that would... Um, oh. You would... Fa I mean, like, you know, we talk about, well, Easter, you know, they usually have a ham. Or a oh, turkey, I see. Know. Got your point. What, what... Do you have anything special? Yes. It's got to be dumplings. Dumplings, absolutely. Got to be dumplings. Got to be dumplings. That's something because it's the skin-wrapped things in there, and then sometimes we're wrapping corn, the lucky yeah, corn yeah, in there. Yeah. So that's something... Definitely symbolize Lunar New Year, and plus and a, a fish. Red packet too. Yeah, <laughs> red packet. Yeah, the red packet with money. That's what we needed, especially the children. They're looking forward to that. Just <laughs> like Christmas, they're looking sometimes. forward to gifts. Yes, and then fish, because uh, in, in the way oh, the okay. Chinese language, fish means extra. Sounds like extra. The sim similar oh, the sound, sound of it. So meaning that you want to have extra year by year is always okay. a, a good yeah. good way to do it. But I'm here actually to print one, two of the highlight event during the Lunar New Year celebration. You've got a fabulous event coming up at the Egg. Let's tell, because we have photos to do. Uh, right. But uh, I believe uh, in the sequence. Bring up some of the photos and maybe uh, we can talk about them. Right. Let's talk about the first UN, the art exhibition, because that's what uh, 
the, the yeah here we go with oh you want to talk about the art yeah first. okay the, we'll yeah. talk about the art then. so that's the uh, on the uh, February 2nd to February 4th that will be in CCC and then uh, that will be Yang Liu Qing Luna New Year Art which is Yang Liu Qing uh, art is from a town a small town uh, but one hour from Beijing and it's so historical listen to this it was emerged in Song Dynasty day back in the year 960, as early as that, and getting popular in the, by the years 1300 in Ming Dynasty. Okay. And then it always has been so dis distinctive art, the, the features of it. I would call it Chinese animation. You, you would see it, you know it's Yang Liuqing. Mm -hmm. And until this day. I, I mean, I've seen the, I, I, Raymond, could you bring up the photos one more time? Or not the photos, the paintings, painting, pictures. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, uh, let's talk about them because they're very characteristic. They are very. So they have, have a lot of lively, it's a folk, folk art, right? It's a lot of it's lively folk art, yes. figures and with children, animals and play and then door guards. And then the way it's so colorful and then the people will hand up one hand up during Lunar New Year times and windows and the doors. And then they are all hand painted and we are Going, they, they are going to. Sh they're on the way shipping it over from China to CCC. So these from that are town. actually from China. From China, from that particular town. Till this day, two fifths of the residents over there they still doing this the same art. Their their ancestors doing. I think there's another doing. three two Raymond that you can bring up. So it's incredible. We had the chance be able to receive these art yeah, these are right during Lunar than, New Year and time. And the babies are always so fat. They're always. Full, choppy. Yes. They're cute. They're just cute. <laughs> I know. Right. They got these right. little fat faces. <laughs> so, and you got to come over to the reception. I definitely, yeah. I'll be so there. So that opening ceremony reception will be in February second, okay. Friday, and the five thirty. So with the CCC, the wall will be full of this gorgeous arts and with traditional music, Chinese in music instruments, a such guzheng, as guzheng, but this time we got pipa, you know, that oval yeah, shape, yeah, elegant, yeah, yeah. and the ladies did this, oh, it's just gorgeous. We haven't got this for many years, and then like, this year we got it, and the Chinese flute, they're going to play, and then, oh, I can't wait, get this, my tea ceremony again. You oh, love she, that. I, she does a <laughs> wonderful tea ceremony. I never knew there was a white tea, a black tea, a red tea, a green tea, what? Right, so. What yeah. are all these teas? So that event, you know, if you love arts, this cultural music is it open instrument, to the public? it is anybody. Okay. So I mean, we we do prefer registration because we we don't want people waiting by the door. Yeah. And then so just go to the website cccalbany.org. You know, then uh, can register. But walking is okay as long as you're not gonna waiting outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Especially the, the cold day. The cold day. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and then that lead us to the most important event of the year for the CCC, the Lunar Can't New wait. Year Gala Can't Show. Wait. In the egg, in the egg. I would just say this is the show to go during Lunar New Year, folks. It's the everything. Show. It's everything. really everything, you're so right. So the program is 17 program. It's a big show, two and a half an hour with intermission. And the show feature the, you know, what you wanted to see, the dragon dance, amazing Chinese Lovely Kung drag. Fu, yeah, yeah. and then the elegant fan dancing and long sleeve the dancing. Way they snap yeah, those, right, they snap right. Those. Yeah, <laughs> the long sleeves or the fan, yeah. they're all the gorgeous costumes. And then and the pe 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 uh, opera Peking singer. opera team. She is so good at that with the, her arms and her yes. it's like, Wow, did she do that? And this year, you know, she's going to sing a duet. Duet. She's singing Peking opera, and then another classic opera singer going to sing Italian. You know who? Yeah, I know. Yes, who. yes. yes. Franco so the East meet West. That's something we're definitely he, looking forward to. If you to. haven't heard his voice, his voice is amazing. I'm looking forward to hear that in person. Amazing, yeah. yeah right, that's he's amazing. He's done a lot of uh, uh, ships, you know, where you take the ship and he's the entertainer on the ships. Cruise. You know. uh -huh, yeah, wow. so cruises, yeah. He's got an amazing voice. I'm so looking yeah, forward. Yeah. I so also want to say because and you have they karate, are not karate, but uh, the Kung Fu. Uh, Kung Fu. The Kung Fu, yeah. yeah. I also mentioned that all the, uh, the the programs are local. 
you know, we did a selection with the local Chinese and Chinese descendants. It's amazing how talented they are. I know. The I know. younger people, they're both seeing the local youth orchestra, you know, on the pianos. They're just like amazing. And then all these ladies who are doing those elegant dances with full costume, with all the energy. And the seniors does a beautiful Tai Chi fan dancing. Yeah. And then the, the little kids, five, six years old, Chinese school students, with their lovely costume and dancing for the New Year. It's really a show for all family based all ages. Really, as you said, it's, it's got everything and really they show to go. So during intermission, there'll be very delicious uh, Asian food for vendors, crafts, mm -hmm. and the calligraphy uh, master well, and yeah. write the Chinese characters for Lunar New Year. And then they even write your names in Chinese. You got and then they write it in I know, Chinese. I, know. Yeah. I, I, have, I think I have a stamp with my, my yeah. name. You know, they, in China, they made a stamp for me with my name. Of right. Course. Yeah. We're also going to put a portion of the Yan Liu Qing art over there too on um, during yeah. intermission okay, so people so get more chance yeah. to see it yeah so you know we also do a VIP reception but that's the invitation only yeah, yeah. it's and an amazing uh, event and there are so many people that are I don't I want to say the word jubilant but that doesn't touch it it's sort of like there's a celebratory feeling in the room that everybody's like happy <laughs> That's the point, you know, because after uh, Christmas and New Year, it's quiet time, right? And then everybody looking for the winter break. But Lunar New Year comes the right time. We should be just making fun and celebration and all the color of red, dragon dance and parties. Just boost up the winter. Yeah. That's the whole point of it, you know. Exactly. So that's what I like to do, celebrations. Parties. Yeah. The yeah. parties everywhere, yeah. so your viewers can you know can go to local uh, libraries you know to see if they want to do hands-on activity with the library with and us. I, and I yeah. have those on my if you're on my mail uh, my weekly mailing, I have all of those listed on my weekly. Thank mailing you so much. So that everybody's aware of that. If you're if you're not on, you know, you can contact me, and I'd be glad to put you on my list. Um, I want to thank you for being here because it's always fun to talk to you. Number one, and number two, she's always got some great stuff going on. <laughs> and I, I just love going to the Chinese Community Center because, well, first of all, everybody's so friendly and nice, and it's just fun to be there and to see some of the exhibitions and when you have your open house. I would invite you to uh, check it out because sometimes we get wrapped up in our own little world and we there's a big world out there let's just enjoy it all right yeah exactly boost out the winter time yes good, good. thank you so much Wayne. thank you and good to see you and i'll be to seeing see you. you pretty soon yeah well, i got the art exhibit i got the. i it's all there i'm doing it okay, okay. great thank you, I'll see you. good